Hey guys, so today I'm back with another video and as you can tell by the title it is a back to school makeup vlog that I'm really really excited to show you guys. Lifetime sent me this huge bag full of sleek like makeup products and I'm so excited to like use them all and show you guys. I've used a few already but a lot of them are still new to me so I'm really excited to use them and show you guys. So myself and Lifetime recently partnered up. I'm not being paid to make this video, I just really wanted to show you guys what they have to offer and kind of just team up with them because I really believe in a lot of the things they're promoting. It's like female empowerment pretty much, that's a lot of what um, I'm working with them for and they're sending me to London Fashion Week and stuff like that and of course I'm filming this video for you guys as well. Also they're going to be hosting a giveaway for you guys and if you want to enter then be sure to head over to Instagram. I'll leave all the details below on how you enter. You basically tag Lifetime. I think it's Lifetime Telly and Sleek Makeup and then you use a specific hashtag on your picture showing your back to school makeup look and you'll be entered into the giveaway so that's really fun. If you do want to enter that be sure to check out the description because then you can go ahead and do that. Maybe you could recreate this look and then tag a minute and tag me in it because I'd love to see. And yeah I'll see you guys in a second with the makeup. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a back to school makeup look and this is primarily drugstore. I think I have like one product that isn't drugstore so yeah and that's my foundation so I can't really help that but I'm doing a back to school drugstore makeup look and I'm so excited about it I'm also in my new filming room I know that the like wall colour isn't that cute I need to paint in here I need to make it white but I'm really excited to be in here it's the first video that I'm filming in here and you guys will see many more with this same backdrop and yeah let's just get into it so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my hair up into a little ponytail because I like to have all my hair out of my face while I'm doing my makeup. I feel like it's just a lot easier if you do it like that. I don't know how people do their makeup when they've got their hair down, I really don't. Okay, hair's up. I've got an itchy leg. So I have all my makeup in this huge bag and first I'm going to go ahead and apply some primer. So the primer I'm going to be using is this one, it is the Sleek Control Shine and Prime Primer. Obviously if you've got oily skin or anything like that this is going to be great for you. I have combination skin, some areas get really oily and some areas get really dry. But the foundation I'm going to be using is this one and it's the MAC Studio Sculpt and it's very oily dewy foundation so this really helps kind of give it a neutral finish which I really like but obviously if you have really oily skin it will help control that as well. So now my skin is all primed this leaves my skin feeling so so soft it's like the perfect canvas type thing I absolutely love the way that this primer makes my skin feel I love it and it hasn't been breaking me out and a lot of primers do break me out really really bad so I'm such a fan of this the next thing I'm doing is going in with my foundation like I said I'm using the MAC studio sculpt foundation I love this so nice really good coverage really easy to blend I'm a big fan I like to apply a little bit to my finger first and then to my face I don't like to apply it directly and of course don't forget to blend your foundation down your neck because you don't want those harsh foundation lines so many girls that I used to go to school with used to have like an orange line across their jaw really not cute <laughs> so in this little chit chat like tutorial type thing I really want to talk to you guys about school after this video I'm going to be filming a how to survive high school video because obviously I've been to high school I finished high school so I think I know a little bit about it but I want to talk about a few things in this video as well. So I feel like when everyone thinks about high school, they think about like stress, parties and bullying. I feel like they're like the main things that people kind of associate with high school. I do at least. Um, honestly, in my school, there weren't any parties. So I can't really talk about that. But there literally weren't any parties in my high school. There were like a few like birthday parties but I feel like in America like the whole party scene like the red cups and stuff like that is a lot more like of a thing but in the UK parties in high school don't really exist it's more when you get to like sixth form and like college and stuff like that 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 all happens obviously I've been to a few parties but none with like loads of people from my school yeah, but I think my main advice for parties, obviously, 
I guess these are just like parties in general is like watch what you're doing know your surroundings um, it's always good to have like an emergency contact who you know you can call if anything happens also never ever leave your drink unattended don't ever ever leave your drink like on the side somewhere and then go and pick it up because unfortunately some people like to spike drinks and just like take advantage of people so never ever leave your drink and then go back to it and pick it up if you left your drink somewhere get a new one <laughs> even if it costs you like five pound more to get a new drink seriously it's so much you know it's worth it spending that money instead of something like awful happening so i think that's like my biggest piece of advice for any party that you go to never ever leave your drink unattended ever don't do it and now i'm gonna be going in with my sleek um concealer palette and a little concealer brush here it is and i'm applying that underneath my eyes and i'm using the lighter shade that they have to do that so yeah just to like highlight a little oh drop my mirror highlight a little bit and add a little bit of dimension to my face and also down my nose a little bit on my chin i'm using my beauty blender to blend that out honestly i really recommend getting a real beauty blender you can get like beauty blenders like fake ones from ebay but honestly i've tried those that was weird i've tried those before and like this works so much better um what else do i want to talk about oh yeah bullying so i experienced bullying throughout primary school mainly um in high school it, i experienced bullying in primary school more which i think for any american people if you don't know what um primary school is i think it's like a mix of elementary school and middle school for you guys you go there from the ages of like four to 12 or 11 i'm not too sure i can't remember but yeah i experienced bullying really bad like in that time frame like I changed schools so many different times and a lot of that was down to moving house and stuff like that but a lot of it was down to bullying as well because I was bullied really really badly in so many different schools. Um, I think my main advice for bullying is tell somebody don't let it get out of hand because then the situation is just going to escalate like so much more honestly. Tell a teacher, tell your parents, tell somebody that you trust, even if it's a friend, because that friend might be able to give you some, like, freaking good advice, even if they're, like, the same age as you. Like, that friend could give you some really good advice if they've experienced it in the past. I think it's so important to let someone know how you're feeling in that situation, because if you don't, things can escalate so quickly, which is really, really dangerous. And if my child was being bullied, I don't have children, but if I had children and they were being bullied and I didn't know about it, I'd feel like... I wasn't doing my job as a parent so never feel like you can't talk to like your parents about it or older siblings or anything like that but my main advice is tell somebody if you're going through that now i'm going to be contouring this is the sleek face contour kit it's a highlighter and um contour in one it's got a little mirror as well which is really good i don't want to use this mirror because it's better quality than the other one i'm using quite a small brush to do this and this is the contour brush from Real Techniques. Don't go in too harsh with highlighter, that's a little tip for you. Just like work it into the skin. Don't go in like full throttle with it. I also like to contour along my drawline because I just have double chin prompts. It just makes your face look a lot more structured. I also like to contour my temples and around my hairline as well it makes your hair look a lot thicker and also slims down your forehead a little bit which is nice a little bit of contour advice for you guys is the further you bring this contour down towards your mouth the older you'll look and the shorter you stop it the younger you'll look so you guys know me i like to look older than i am i pull my contour down literally like to here right next to my mouth because it does make you look a lot older People always like assume people with slimmer faces are older and chubbier faces are younger. Obviously it doesn't really work like that, but it's just kind of like something that's programmed into a lot of people's mind for some reason. 
And also, if you want to just kind of do a little thing here, a lot of you guys probably won't be able to see like your shoulders and stuff, but I like to add a little bit of contour just in the dips of my collarbones, just a little extra sun sun. <laughs> but yeah, that's if contour really easy, really simple. If you like, you can go over with a beauty blender or your foundation brush and just kind of blend that a little bit to make it look a lot more subtle and more natural, which is what I like to do, just a little. Okay, so that's done. Now what shall we move on to? Eyeshadow. So, top tip for eyeshadow is to use your contour palette. It saves money and everybody loves a golden crease. <laughs> but yeah, I like to just swirl a big fluffy um, eyeshadow brush, blow a little of the product off, and then go ahead and apply that as eyeshadow right into the crease. Really simple and it saves money and time because you have to go looking through all of your eyeshadow drawers you guys know that i usually wear like eyeliner and stuff like that um to school but this is like a very natural look for you guys because i feel like it's a lot more wearable but obviously you can wear as much as you want to while i've got this little brush i'm going to brush off any of the contour left on and go into that highlight right there and apply it to my nose and my cupid's bow my chin I like to use a little tiny brush to do that and I'll probably add some more highlight later on <laughs> now what I'm doing is taking my sleek eyeliner in oh la la and this is just black liner and I apply that to both of my water lines well actually I'm applying it more to the lash line than the water line I guess that's done. I'm pretty sure you can see that my lash line looks a lot thicker already. I can't on camera, but you can in real life because there's a box around my face on the camera, so I can't see what it looks like. But yeah, what should we do now? Brows? Should we go in with the brows? I think we should. Where's my little eyebrow tool? So this is also from Sleek. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't have a label. But it's like a double-ended thing. You've got a spoolie on one end and then like a little pencil on the other, so I'm going to be using that. Um, another thing about bullying is you need to like, I guess a lot of people wouldn't recommend this but I would because you know, I'm me, but I really think you should stand up for yourself. Like a lot of people if they're being bullied, they kind of just like back away from it, but I think the best way to deal with it is head on. Like if you're being bullied, stand up for yourself. If someone says something to you that you don't like, tell them. Like, it, like I'm a very honest person, if someone says something that I don't agree with or I don't like I'll let them know that I don't like it I have no problem doing that and I think that's really helped me in a lot of situations because in high school I experienced like I said it was more like harassment than bullying like they said hurtful things but it was like I was being harassed not necessarily bullied so yeah but I kind of sorted that situation myself by standing up for myself and I think that's the best way to do it honestly if I was like talking to my future child and they were being bullied, I tell them like, you need to stand up for yourself, you need to let them know that they can't mess with you and they can't just like, treat you badly because they don't have the right to do that, nobody does. So, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with this double-ended thing, mine's in the shade dark, I don't know what this is called, everything will be linked below anyway, but I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with it. The reason I love this so much is because like it looks natural on your eyebrows. It kind of looks like just like your eyebrows with nothing on, which I really, really like. Let's add some highlight because who doesn't love a good highlight? You guys know I absolutely love this little highlight thing. This is the Precious Metals palette, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's the Solstice one. I have the Precious Metals and this one. Um, this is ecliptic hemisphere subsolar and equinox and i'm mixing the powders together all three of them applying that to my nose can you see that glow i can my chin my cheekbone my other cheekbone i'm just gonna bathe in this highlighter for two seconds just hold up love i love being so glowy and pretty and I'm going to blend that a little bit with my beauty blender. So yeah, now I'm applying some lip liner because my lips are non-existent. Um, 
I also have really dry lips at the moment, so I'm sorry. I'm just getting the foundation off my lips in a really classy way. I'm going to do this with my lips because I think it makes it a lot easier than going like... I don't know why people do that, but I think it's easier to do like... And then I'm going to lick my lips and just kind of blend it by doing this. And now I have bigger lips. I, yeah, I'm not a fan of my lips. I really don't like them, but oh well, what can you do? Now for mascara, I'm using this one. It's like the extra volume thing from Rimmel. It's great. It's kind of drying up, so it doesn't work as well now. But when it wasn't all dry and crusty, it worked. <laughs> so what else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, like stress and stuff. I think people stress themselves out in high school so much more than they need to. Like... If you get a bad grade on your homework, like, yeah, like, oh no, like, you didn't do that well, but it's okay, like, don't, don't stress yourself out about it, like, I think it's so important to put, like, your mental health first, and, like, you know, like, just, like, put yourself, how you feel mentally is, like, so much more important than, like, you know, anything else, like, it's so much more important than getting an amazing grade, like, it really, really is, so many people put their schoolwork in front of how they feel mentally and I think that's really really bad don't stress yourself out it's not the end of the world if you don't do amazing like it's really it's not the end of the world like you can retake or you know you can just like work towards what you want a little bit harder like grades obviously make things a lot easier for you like in life they really do but like you can you can still you can still achieve things without like perfect grades you know what I mean so yeah that is the finished look for today hope you guys like it I think it's really easy really wearable and honestly if I wasn't talking through this thing it probably would have taken me like five minutes it usually does this is what I do on days when I'm just kind of having like a chill day maybe going out to run a few errands it'll be perfect for school because you know no one really cares that much at school I like to wear eyeliner and stuff on a daily basis just because I think it's really fun but this is a really easy go-to look for every day that you can just kind of have this is just like a really easy go-to look that you guys can do for school and if you want to like add things or take things away from this look obviously you can do that it's up to you but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching this video I love you all so much I hope you have a really good school year Nobody likes school, let's be honest, but let's try our best to make it a really good, awesome year. So, yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. And all the products I use will be linked below, I promise. I'll remember, I promise. I love you guys, and if you want to follow me on my social media, that would be lovely. I have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. I also have a vlog channel that a lot of you guys don't know about, but if you want to check that out, it will be also linked at the end of this video. If you want to go check it out, um, yeah. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Papers find out you're hiding places again. The only problem that I got with the club is how you severed from the people.